Well, the inspiration came from my own frustration with traditional psychology. Over the past hundred years, we've been so mired in the medical model of, of seeing struggle and uh, mental health as a disease process, as, as an illness. Um, for me, it, it, it became apparent that uh, there was a simpler solution, and that had to do with understanding struggle and even depression and anxiety as habits, habits of insecurity, habits that we feed or habits that we starve. Once we demystify our struggle and see it as purely a habit, it puts you in the driver's seat. You see, and that's what's so critical is that oftentimes, whether it be relationship struggle, whether it be anxiety or depression, we often feel like victims, victims of an illness, victims of a depression. Once you start changing the script and start to realize that it's habits, habits that I bring into my relationship, habits that bring me down, then the simple question is, am I feeding the habit or am I starving it? Now, in a relationship struggle, of course, we have two partners, each contributing to their own dynamic of a struggle. And this is why it's so important that in a self-coaching mode that we engage both partners in recognizing the simplicity of working through their own emotional baggage. Uh, you know, it's, when, when you think about the past, it's, it's obviously enticing to say, well, where does this come from and, and, and why do I do that? And we could spend years, if not decades, in analysis trying to understand the why. To me, it's like a cigarette smoker. We don't need to know why you started smoking. We just need to know what you're going to do about it now. So by bringing it to the present and realizing that the present embraces the whole past, it is a snapshot of everything that has preceded it. And by going into the present, seeing the dynamic as it exists and dealing with whether we feed it or starve it, we have a simplistic format for really not only understanding but for diffusing the ongoing chronic habits that trip us up in life.